The demonstration is to make a basket like this with forged shipping straps. So I want to start off by identifying the different um, terminologies. The straps that go up and down on the, around the basket, these are called standards. The ones that go around, these are called weavers. So the, um, the instructions tell you exactly how much you need of each to make a basket about the size but a bit shorter. There will be handle straps and also straps that wrap the handles. We'll start by making the footprint of the basket. These are the 42 inch pieces. If you're working on the floor, then you can just step on it. But if you're working on a table, you need something to weigh it down to keep it not moving about. You can use a book or like me, a brick or anything heavy and flat on one side. The next step is to weave in the shorter standard straps. This will make up the length of the basket. So it's simple over and under method. And at this point, I wouldn't worry so much about centering until you get about three straps in, just to anchor it. And then just continue until you use up all 19 of these straps. It's important to leave space between the straps. One common mistake is to make this part too tight and when it's too tight, the weavers cannot go down properly, snug against each other. So adjusting this is actually a very important step because it establishes the footprint and all subsequent steps. Okay, so here's the footprint. Now what you wanna do is to take one of the center ones on each side, fold it, and then tuck it in. This is just to anchor the footprint. So as we continue on the following steps, the bottom doesn't come apart. Okay. So it's tucked in and it's pretty steady now. Now you take all the straps on every side that ends under the one going across and you just fold it up. And then do the ones in between. So we've finished the footprint, the bottom, and then folded all the standards upwards, which makes the size of the basket. Now I want you to take a look at how much space is in between. Again, this allows for the weavers, the horizontal ones, to go down properly.
take a measurement of the width and length of the basket. So it's five by 13 and a half. And you take your straps that are the weavers and you want to fold it to build up the side of the basket. So the first bend should be about half, about two thirds of the width of the basket. So in this case, about nine inches. Yep, 13 and a quarter and five. So what you're folding is the dimension of the basket plus some overlap for strength. If you are making a round basket that I showed earlier, you do not have to fold it, but I suggest for beginners to start with the folding method. So go ahead and fold all of your weavers. So now that the weavers are all folded, we're gonna start working on building up the sides. Remember that we have tucked in straps as anchors. So we need to remove those as we weave up. So I'm gonna start with the long side. Untuck the anchor. Pick up all the straps that are ending under, like this, and insert the long side of the weaver in. Okay? Then take the middle one and anchor it so that it doesn't slide upward. Same thing with the side. Tuck it. Undo the one we anchored before for the footprint and tuck it into the bottom. Same for this side. Now here's a bit of a shortcut. Instead of tucking, I'm gonna lift the next row and insert the next weaver in, slide it down, and tuck. So we're on the final side of the first roll. I want the, the strap on the inside to end where it's going to be hidden and not poke out and snag the stuff in the basket. So I trimmed it. So it would be hidden like this. And this one, just weave it right on top like this. I'm gonna leave this here for now and trim it later, just in case I need to do some adjustment. Now I'm gonna pick up all the straps in between and slide in the next row. Push up as you go, just to tighten it up a little bit. Again, tuck and anchor. Let's do one more row. So this is row three of the weaver. Put the short side in here. So you'll notice that I'm alternating the overlapping side to be one side and the other, and this will add to the structural strength to have the complete sides and alternating ends. Okay. 
on tuck. This strap ended where it would be hidden so I don't have to trim it. Again, the strap goes right on top. Roll number three of the weaver. Now this time, because you have three rolls, you can tuck on the side instead of on the bottom of the basket, which makes it one far easier to manage. So this is the top roll for this basket. And of course, you can stop whenever you like, but make sure there's about at least five inches or so excess because we'll need that to finish the top edge. In weaving, you always have to have at least overlap of going under two. Okay, so that's the last roll. And really the next step is to use the awl to tighten, and then sometimes pulling from the top edge until the straps are tight against the corner. It's best to not be too ambitious in tightening all at once. I think it's more um, friendly if you work in the round. Meaning rotate, tighten, rotate back. So now comes the part where you make a commitment and actually do a hard tuck instead of just provisional anchors. So I'm gonna do the corner, this one. I'm gonna take one that ends under and do a hard fold and tuck it in. Again, this side, corner, hard fold, tuck. Tuck it over. Hard tuck under. Okay, now I'm going to move to the middle of each side and do a tuck. tuck in the middle of the long side as well. Okay, so I'm going to do a check to see how far off I am. Good, six and three quarters all the way around. All right, so, um, so this is the top edge. Bend all the pieces down that are um, ending under and then over. And I'm gonna do one, two. So we're now finishing, beginning to finish the top edge. The rule of weaving is always have at least two have an overlap. And at this point, cut it, 
slightly at an angle where it would be hidden by the weaver that goes across. And tuck it in. I'm ready to trim off these excess because all the adjustments are done and I feel secure that it's not going to move around too much. Just cut it where it would be hidden by the standard strap, the one that goes up and down. Tuck it in. Before I do the other sides, I want to show you the next step. So every other are the straps that are over the weaver, and these then get tucked into the inside. So the first step is to go ahead and fold them all down. And then we have to determine where to cut it, because it's very difficult to cut it later. We have to pre-cut it, and I want it to tuck and hide in here. So that means I'm going to cut it at 2 and 3 eighths. Slightly at an angle. Now before I tuck it in, you may notice that here's like a checkerboard pattern. But once you get to the top edge, it's more like a tooth pattern. So if you want a consistent look all the way through, I weave in an extra piece. By tucking it in like this, adding the extra top piece before tucking in the inside. This piece also adds extra strength. Now here's a ch step that's kind of challenging for people because they um, can't see. So what I do is I take a strap that I've cut off and slide it into the inside so that I can easily guide the tuck without even looking, just feeling it by hand. because a strap will follow the guide strap. Okay, so these three, this section is now finished. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest. Next step is to add the handles. Take the longer ones that we've allotted for handles. And I'm basically going to weave it in right over the straps. I generally choose somewhere between five or fifth, sixth or seventh from the side, depending on the shape and the size of the basket. And so I think I'm gonna do six this time. and a lot enough to go at least halfway along the bottom.
This is the point where you determine how big your handle should be. I usually have about six inch high. On this side, I don't weave it in all the way because I needed to do some adjustments later on. This may be an overkill, but I also do and add another strap for the inside handle. So I go in two times and then turn it all the way back around and weave it right back in. So these baskets are super strong. So again, two in. Adjust for length to match the, the other handle strap. Tuck it up. Turn it right over. And cut it about here. Now, one point is that you'll notice that the number of straps, both on all four sides, are odd numbers. And the reason why I do that is because I want it to be symmetrical on both sides, that they're ending up either both under or both over. Okay, now comes the final step, finishing off the handles. On the instructions, there are two straps that are extra long, and these are used to wrap the handle so that it's in one single unit. These should be 66 inches. So I use a strap that's not too stiff and basically cut it in half. These straps are about half an inch width. There are some straps that are wider. If that's the case, you might want to cut them in thirds. So they're going to go in these four quadrants right here. I cut these at an angle. I insert these straps. So if you imagine these two quadrants, like this figure eight, I insert it into the bottom two right corners of the two squares. Pull it out about eight inches or so, bend it over. And I wrap these thin cut straps over both the handles. Not on top of each other, but side to side. If your handle straps are floppy rather than stiff, you may add a third one in between so that when you wrap the handles, it does, they don't get twisted up. I did not um, permanently tuck it in because here I can do a little bit of adjustment so it lays flat. Same thing on this side. This is different because I'm going underneath and I'm inserting it on from the bottom up.
up. It's too long, so I'm going to trim off some excess. I do not need all of that. I'm not going to make X's. Just one X like this. Go to the back. And just wrap it around the weaver. You can wrap it once or twice. It's very secure. Now, you can finish tucking in, leaving in the standard, the handle, right over the standard. Here's another opportunity. If you'd like these to be a different color, you can make your handles a different color than the body of the basket. Now I'm going to finish these X's on the, start, the side that I started the handles. by replicating the process. So the final step is to weave in the bottom. Very simple. Just like all other areas. It's basically weaving them on top of each other and then tucking it where it won't snag anything. Final tuck. And we are done.